what's up guys one way low man and i'm going to show you how to make this pegger right here and can you hit that subscribe button all right guys so first thing is you want to go to the store get some wood two by threes and you're gonna want a screwdriver or some nails and you're gonna want to put the wood like nail it together so like it looks like or we can screw it together if you got a screw gun with screws all right so first you want to measure end of peg to end of peg little man grab that tape measure We've got roughly 13 inches. Add an inch each side. So we're gonna make that 15 inches. So we're gonna cut two pieces of wood 15 inches each now. That'll be your front and back leg. Grab our saw and we're gonna make our cut. So you just want to lay your wood, give yourself a little bit of room in there for your tire. Lay one in front of the tire, one in back of the tire, and then take your measurement. And you want to cut two pieces of wood, 17 inches for us. Remember, different bikes, different size tires are going to be different. So you have to build it to the tire. So after you're done making your four pieces, you want to make them like this, kind of like a square. And you want to get your dummy piece and you want to figure out where you want to put um, the inner legs. After you determine that, you can then get your marker. Here we go. And just make a mark. Mark your center. And then we'll screw them together. All right, so we um, screw both sides so they'd stay together. Top and bottom, you want two screws in there so it's nice and sturdy. Longer, you want them longer than from here to there so they can go into right here to stay. Repeat for the other side. All right. For this, we're going to be making the drop legs. And you don't want for the bike to be leaning like this. You want to keep it straight like this. All right, hold it nice and straight. So what you want to do here, you want to measure from the ground to the bottom of the peg. And we have 11 and three quarters of an inch. This next part is where it could get a little trickier. Luckily, my line of work, I have some drill bits. What you want to do is drill the top of the wood. Now, if you don't have a drill bit, you can use your saw and just make a square. Basically, you're trying to create an area for the peg to rest on.
All right, so we drilled our hole. Now we're back. What we'll do now is we'll cut it open. So we'll mark about there, about there, a little 45 degree angles. So this way it widens it up and your peg will sit in there and rest. two of them just like that all right so remember from the bottom of the peg to the ground you had your measurement 11 and three quarters you could be off a little bit because you can adjust it because you're going to screw this to it so we're going to measure from the bottom of our half circle or if you didn't have a drill and you used the saw to just make a square that's almost so 17. 11 and three quarters and then we're gonna cut our wood. All right, so now you just wanna um, put your legs right there on the peg and screw. Like that. And then you need to do the other side and then you have your pegger. All right, now when you're done, you have your pegger right here, and just practice your wheelies. When it's raining outside or it's bad weather, take this pegger, go in your garage or in your house, and just do wheelies on it. <laughs> 